think that's on a lot of young people's minds. Hillary Clinton, if you could heard there, she was asked uh, by someone that young people were wondering if she's going to be Secretary of State, playing it coy, as you saw, uh, possibly uh, about joining Barack Obama's cabinet. But the president-elect's team says the nomination is right on track. Uh, joining me tonight to talk about the emerging Obama cabinet, three of the best connected political observers in the country, CNN contributor Stephen Hayes, a senior writer with the Weekly Standard, our senior political analyst Jeffrey Tubin, and New York Daily News columnist Errol Lewis, also morning host for WWRL Radio in New York. Um, Errol, let me start with you. You know, the New York Times says this is a done deal. Hillary's accepting it. It's all been put to bed. But then you have Clinton's spokesman coming out saying that they're still in discussions. Yeah. What's going on and, and why is it playing out so publicly? Well, if you think about it, we all knew that Hillary was going to drop out at one point. And as I recall, it was about a week of, is it going to be today? Is it going to be tomorrow? Things have to be worked out. This really is part of her style. I mean, she and Bill rely on a lot of, on the counsel of many, many people. And they think things through and they, they play three-dimensional chess. And it's never, it's never all that easy. It's a, it's a plus for them. It's kind of a minus for everybody else. On the other hand, what's the big hurry? If we know a day or two later, it doesn't really change it. Well, Steve, um, the big hurry may be to, to try to tamp down some of this drama, which we know that the Obama yeah. camp hates. I mean, Peggy Noonan writes in the Wall Street Journal today, to invite the Clintons is to invite in to summon drama that will never end, ever. I mean, are we seeing that play out right now? And if she does go to work for Obama, is he going to be able to keep her on message? Will he be the boss? No, seriously. I mean, th this is hilarious. We are now on, like, day nine of this drama. This is a simple transaction in theory. Will you accept the job? Yes, I will accept the job. No, I won't accept the job. I mean, it should be as simple as that. Or maybe I need to take a day or two to think about it. I'll get back to you. Instead, really, just what we've seen, Campbell, you point out in the last 24 hours, You've seen, yes, she's going to take it. Well, no, she's not. That's premature. It's on track. Maybe it's not on track. This is exactly, I think, the problem with picking Hillary Clinton. As much as I am sort of relieved as a conservative that she's a good choice for people who believe what I believe in terms of foreign policy, she's better than a lot of other options. This is, a, I think, a, a logistical disaster for the, for the Obama administration. So, so Jeff, what, what are these quote-unquote discussions about? What do you think they're still negotiating? What are the sticking points? Well, the, the, they are discussing certainly Bill's finances. But to call this a disaster is such a total overstatement. It matters not at all whether she accepts this job on, Jan on November 21st or December 1st. That is of zero significance. Barack Obama isn't even going to be president for two months yet. This is a total fake non-controversy of no consequence <laughs> no, to anyone. I'm sorry. It is, it, it is, not, a, it is not a fake non-controversy. It's, it's not as much what it's, what's happening today. Yeah, fine. She could have accepted it a week ago. It doesn't change it. It's what it says about what's likely to come. And I think to deny that is, frankly, just naive. If you think that this is not a preview for what we're likely to see of a Hillary Clinton Secretary of State in the Obama administration, I think it's just naive. There are a bunch of conservative journalists who hate the Clintons with such a passion that everything they do, they find offense at some level. But, but you know, Jeff, it's not just, just in fairness, deal. it's not just conservative journalists. I mean, look at the way the media in general, I mean, we're all guilty of this, covers the Clintons. I mean, every little up and down is a story, like it or not, and that comes with choosing her. Oh, inevitably. So, so don't but, you think but that? But I, I think it is. It is much more. It's a story just by virtue she's the, of the fact she's there. I think it's a journalistic obsession more than a public obsession. I really don't think like there are a lot of people out there who care what day she accepts this nomination. But, but she's it, either going to be a good Secretary of State or not. Jeff, it is. It, it, it is curious. I mean, even something simple like um, opening an office in New York for Bill Clinton. Remember that there was the back and the forth, and it couldn't be this place, and it couldn't be that place, and then he goes to Harlem. You know, I mean, drama is the right word. I think, though, that you're right that the drama may not mean that much, but you're always going to get the drama. Okay. You are. Uh, we love drama. Okay. All right. Quickly, we're almost out of time, but I just want to get your take. Jeff, very quickly, you jump in on, on the announcement of Tim Geithner and this economic team. We're going to see them. We're going to have faces, names come Monday. How important was it for Obama to sort of roll this out now, given the uncertainty that everyone's feeling at the moment? Well, the striking thing was that the stock market went up 500 points as soon as the name came out. I think that just shows how much of a hunger there is 
for leadership on this issue. Now he's got to come up with a plan, of course, with President Obama to do something, but obviously there is this huge vacuum now and people want some answers and perhaps he'll have some. And, and unfortunately, guys, we got to end it there because Hillary Clinton took up all our time. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. That. you knew that was going to happen. All right, Imagine Steve, Errol, that. Jeff, thanks very much. Appreciate it, guys. The government is ready to give a break to homeowners who are three months behind on their mortgages. Is that an incentive to skip those payments to take advantage of this plan? Some people are thinking about it. And then later, the Obamas pick a school for their two girls. Which school is it? And the Obamas' explanation of why they made that choice coming up.